feline patient prep begins after induction is complete. The anesthetized patient is wrapped in his or her own clean blanket and carried from the kennel area to a clean prep table with the head carefully held in extension. Female patients are placed in dorsal recumbency in a V-tray. Male patients are placed perpendicularly with their legs held back with splints or ties and a V-tray may or may not be used. Once positioned, a patient's parameters are checked and a manual heart rate is obtained. The eyes are lubricated with corn or olive oil and a pulse oximeter probe is then placed on the tongue. If the drug regimen used prevents access to the tongue, the fourth toe can be used instead. Be sure to inspect the clippers for broken teeth or overheating before carefully shaving this toe. Then firmly attach the pulse oximeter probe using the lateral aspects of the toe as there are vessels located on each side. Finally, meloxicam is administered low in the left front leg. Begin to shave the surgical margins as anesthetic monitoring is continued, again inspecting the clippers for broken teeth and overheating. For a female cat, shave from the xiphoid process to the brim of the pubis and one inch laterally on each side of the mammary chain. Clinics may choose to shave smaller margins for female community cats in the winter to aid in heat preservation. For a male cat, gently shave the testicles. Shave a square around the testicular area approximately 2-3 to three inches by 2-3 to three inches. Be cautious when clipping near the anus to avoid cutting the mucous membranes of the rectum. Also be careful when shaving over the penis making sure it stays in the protective prepuce to prevent any lacerations. Males also need a small shaved square, one inch by one inch, around or just below the umbilicus for the tattoo. A crypt orchid male cat will be prepped in the same manner as a female cat, including bladder expression. Expressing the bladder may help to keep the urinary system safe during surgery. The initial shave should follow the grain of the hair. Manipulate the direction of the clippers as needed, keeping them flat against the skin to avoid snagging or cutting it. During this time, continue to monitor the patient closely for appropriate depth of anesthesia. The final shave then goes against the grain, which helps remove as much hair as possible. After shaving, vacuum all excess hair from the patient and blanket. If the cat is female, you will now express the bladder, which will generally be located around the midline and in the caudal half of the abdomen, and feels similar to a balloon. Once the bladder is identified, isolate it in your hand and attempt to squeeze gently in a caudal motion. It may be helpful to pick it up and move it slightly caudally. As urine begins to flow, continue to squeeze gently until the bladder feels deflated. If there is a significant resistance to urine flow, wait several minutes before making another attempt. If the cat is pregnant and the bladder is not easily palpated, do not attempt expression and notify the doctor. Female cat prep is similar to the female dog prep. If the patient appears clean, make one swipe in the area of the incision with warm chlorhexidine scrub and check the gauze for discoloration. If the gauze is discolored, continue cleaning with scrub and solution until the test gauze remains clean. At this point, the surgical scrub may begin. Place two piles of gauze across the palm of one hand. One pile will be four chlorhexidine scrub-soaked gauze and the other will be five chlorhexidine solution-soaked gauze. Ensure all parts of the gauze are completely saturated. Use gauze scrub and begin at the top of the incision area, moving the gauze straight down midline and then in a circular and twisting motion. Move from the inner to the outer edge without repeating or backtracking in any area. Follow with the solution gauze and repeat this entire process two more times. When finished, three pieces of gauze remain, one scrub and two solution. Fold the top solution gauze in half and place it over the incision area for contact time. Avoid touching the side of the gauze that will be in contact with the patient's skin. 
To initiate the scrub of the male cat, use warm chlorhexidine scrub soap gauze and clean the testicles. This initial dirty scrub is important as the skin can be quite dirty. To clean the testicular skin, apply the gauze over the testicles and then pinch the skin without pinching the testicles and pull the gauze and skin away from the cat. Repeat this cycle until the gauze comes away clean, at which point the sterile surgical scrub may begin. To do this, obtain four chlorhexidine scrub soaked gauze and five chlorhexidine solution soaked gauze. Perform three cycles of scrub followed by solution, either using the pinch and pull method or a typical circular scrub pattern, depending upon preference and anatomy. Leave the fourth solution-soaked gauze over the testicles until the surgeon arrives. At this point, patients are ready for surgery. Neuters can be performed on the prep table or in the surgical suite, depending on doctor preference and table space. The female patient is ready to be transported to the surgical suite and she may stay in her own blanket if it is dry and clean. If not, place a new blanket over the V-tray in the surgical suite, ready for her arrival. Then, place a closed, sterilized surgical pack on the instrument tray. Remove the pulse oximeter from the female patient's toe or tongue and clip the probe onto a disinfectant pad that is safe for contact with live tissue. Pick up the cat while supporting her head and neck and carry her carefully to avoid contamination of the surgical site. Position her in dorsal recumbency in the V-tray for surgery. Attach the pulse oximeter to her toe or tongue and check her parameters, including obtaining a manual heart rate, observing her respiratory rate and character, and checking for presence or absence of a blink reflex. Place the patient's baggie next to her, along with ink and glue. Finally, when the doctor is ready, open the surgical pack using aseptic technique and remove the solution gauze from the incision area. Continue to monitor the patient and remain aware of the surgical process in order to be of assistance.